guys, in today's video we are going to be talking about the new luminous foundation from Anastasia. I have mine right here. This foundation retails for $38. It is a vegan and cruelty free foundation. It officially launches everywhere August 15th, but for some reason it's already at some Ulta stores. I got it at my local Ulta and besides that it's already on the Anastasia website. In today's video we're going to be doing a first impressions and we're also going to be testing this foundation for 10 to 12 hours. I'm not sure yet because that has not happened. Happened. and we're going to be determining whether or not this foundation is worth the hype I'm definitely super excited about it because luminous hydrating I'm here for it <laughs> if you're excited for this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up go ahead and do it right now so you don't forget later if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section down below and then besides that my name is Patty and if you're new here I would love it if you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button if you've watched some of my videos before and you haven't subscribed why not go ahead hit that button I don't bite, it's free. Let's not make this intro super long, let's just go ahead and get started. I am so excited to show you guys this new foundation. This is a year foundation for us dry people. Urban Decay just released a matte foundation that is actually okay on dry skin, but everything else that's coming out is super luminous and dewy and hydrating and I am so here for it. Because in the past, all the foundations that were ever launching were matte finish foundations and I'm just too dry for that, honestly. Um, so I'm so excited that we are going to be trying another hydrating foundation. Let me read you guys the details of the foundation on the website. It says it is a luminous foundation, it is water resistant, it creates a luminous natural finish. The radiant formula delivers long wearing, medium coverage, yet still feels so lightweight and ultra fresh. It says it looks so great on its own, there's no need to set with powder. Available in many completely natural shades. It blurs imperfections, discoloration and unevenness without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance with a seamless application. This easy to blend formula leaves the skin with a perfected looking complexion that is free of flashback or oxidation. Please let it be all that. <laughs> okay, so for this section of the video, I am just going to be giving you my first impressions, first and foremost. It is actually Monday night, it is 10 p.m. at night, so we're not going to be doing a wear test yet. We're doing a wear test tomorrow, so you will have a wear test in this video, of course. I'm just going to do a first impressions today, see how it looks, and then tomorrow I work at 10 a.m. so I didn't feel like waking up and filming this. I'm just going to do my makeup exactly the way I'm about to do it now except I'm probably not gonna wear any eye makeup because I won't have time for that. I can see the future. Uh, <laughs> what I'll do tomorrow is I'll wake up and I'll do my complexion exactly the way I'm going to do it in this video and I'm going to go to work and then you guys will either see me at work tomorrow during the day for a wear test or you'll just see me after I come back from work at like 7.30 or so p.m. after having worn the foundation for like nine and a half to ten hours to give you guys my final thoughts on the wear test. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be using the Milk Primer today with this foundation. I just love this primer. I think it makes everything look so pretty and it's just my favorite, so why would I not use that one? So let me tell you guys, when I went to pick up this foundation, I also saw the new translucent powder there. I played with it, I looked at it, I decided not to get it because I have more than enough powders. The container is huge. I don't have anywhere to put it to be honest with you um, and I don't think I'll get that much use out of it I know that I, I'm very specific about the powders that I like so I decided to skip that powder let's open up this foundation by the way the packaging is absolutely beautiful it reminds me a little bit of like long comb packaging because it has the silver box and the color that I matched myself to in the store was the 210 neutral this right here is what the bottle looks like it says foundation here in the back side and then of course it has a pump so I'm going to go ahead and pump it out in the back of my hand and now that my primer dried I'm going to go ahead and apply it all right so far I think this color looks really good it is definitely a medium coverage because I see some of my rosacea underneath here and it has more of a natural finish than a dewy finish like in comparison to the Pat McGrath foundation I tried a few days ago that Pat McGrath one looked super luminous right away this one looks more on the natural side right now all right guys so I zoomed you in to show you something look at my nose I don't know what's happening there <laughs> Um, I think it might be that the foundation and the primer are just like not mixing together because it's literally rolling look at that it's like rolling around my nose 
Alright, I turned the light down in case you can see better, but there's some texture going on right there on my forehead as well. And look at my nose. And my cheeks. Again, I don't, I'm not saying that's the foundation, I'm just saying it's happening. And I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to do a different primer and we're going to try again. Alright, so we are back clean face I already did my moisturizer eye cream again and then instead of doing the milk primer I went ahead and put that one back in the drawer because obviously that didn't work we're going to do this Dior backstage primer I've been using this one with my Pat McGrath foundation so I'm hoping that it'll work with this one too this one's a little better at like covering up pores and it doesn't dry down like that milk one so hopefully this will work with that foundation let's do this again so far I think it's better because my forehead is not looking textured like earlier so I think this solved the problem hopefully okay the foundation is applied I don't have the same texture I had the first time I applied it it still has a little bit of weird texture in some places and now I'm not sure if it's that I didn't clean my fairies properly in between which I thought I did because I did use a lot of different cotton rounds um, but you know maybe there's some remainings of the last primer or something okay so I lowered the light and I have you guys closer this is what it looks like I love the I love that it has a glowy finish I'm going to do a teeny tiny bit more right here on my cheeks just to cover all of the redness okay so first impressions looking up close I see a little bit of like some texture that I'm not super happy with and it's weird because it's not dry and it's not separating it's just not setting into my skin kind of like the way I would expect it to it honestly does not bother me that much it's not a huge deal I think it looks really nice like looking at my mirror from a little farther away and not like being super super close to it it looks nice I like the glowy finish that it has the color is okay. I'm going to go ahead and put on my concealer, my bronzer, do my blush, highlighter, powder, all of it. Okay guys, I am back and I fully finished my makeup. This is the look right here for my eyes. I used the Huda Beauty Neon Palette. I used my Huda Beauty powder, my Huda Beauty contour bronzer thing. California blush from Benefit, my Amrezy highlighter. I use these two concealers combined, Colourpop and Tarte. And then my beauty blender and primer, which you guys had already seen before. So this right here is the final look. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner and then the Honey Blush Lip Balm by Origins. Love that stuff. Amazing. I feel like once I put everything over top, it looks really nice. I like the way it looks. I can't see any of that weird texture I was looking at before. It must have gone away with the blending and the powdering and all of that. So, so far, so good. I think it has a natural finish more than a luminous finish. I think the only foundation I have with a truly luminous finish is definitely my Pat McGrath foundation, which if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it up there. This is more of a natural finish, which is one of my favorite finishes. I really, really like it. I like that it's not matte. Thank God. <laughs> Here's me a little closer. I'm going to show you what everything looks like with the light down. First impressions is I like it and I'm going to update you tomorrow on that texture issue I had when first applying it to see if it happens again or not. Of course, tomorrow I will be using it with the Dior primer. Again, I'm not going to use the milk one because that one definitely did not work. <laughs> and i'll update you guys on whether or not it still looks like that and also of course we'll wear it a whole day and see if it gets dry if it gets shiny if it wears off all of that so i'll see you guys then okay guys so it is the next day i'm about to go to work i just finished getting ready no eyeshadow as i predicted it looks really nice let me give you a little close-up it has a beautiful natural finish i don't think it's luminous or dewy None of the times I've put it on, it's looked like luminous or dewy. Um, it has just a medium coverage and a beautiful natural finish. We're going to wear it for a very extended period of time today. So I will take you with me through the day and give you updates. So far this morning, I don't see any of the fuzzy things that I had yesterday. So I definitely think that was maybe remainings from when I applied it with the milk primer, which did not agree with it. But yeah, it looks really nice. And so far, I don't really see any texture. I'll see you guys in a little while.
Hi, Hi guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, several hours later, I'm here with Christian, the foundation judge. He's very intrigued because he does not know what foundation and this I is. And I want to know. It's and he very wants annoying. to know. Yeah. I haven't told him. Um, so what do you think about the foundation, Christian? I think it's much drier than the Urban Decay one. Okay, so the conclusion is it's drier than the Urban Decay one, which I agree with. It looks dry around my mouth. There's now, lines. And there's lines. It's settled it's in my fine lines. Like your forehead, I keep saying her forehead looks so good. Glorious, right? Glorious <laughs> forehead, but so, like, ugh. It looks... <laughs> Thank <Sorry>. you. <laughs> we were saying that it's a little drier than the Urban Decay one, and the Urban Decay one claims to be a matte finish foundation. I'm about to tell you what foundation it is. What it is, is it? the new Luminous Foundation by Anastasia. Now for a Luminous Finish Foundation... What? You would think did, it's where did you more get it? luminous. Did you I got get it? it at Ulta. Rila. <laughs> Is that what you picked up last night? Yeah. Oh, it's a luminous finish? We're not yeah. selling it, are we? We are selling it what, like August 15th, I think. It does not look luminous. Oh, hi, Beth. It looks so matte. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is a matte finish foundation rather than luminous finish to me, and I gotta go because I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, guys, it is the end of the night, and I have some explaining to do. First of all, we have a new pimple. It came out, I picked at it, and we're just living with it right now. I have been wearing this foundation for 12 hours. After work, I got home and I started editing this video that you're watching right now. And I realized that I go back and forth a lot between the finish that the foundation has. And I wanted to explain why. This foundation, I just, I am confused about it, to be honest with you. I put it on this morning and it actually looked like a very natural finish foundation. I powdered like in the center and underneath the, uh, my eyes a little bit. I didn't even use like a powder uh, bronzer or anything. I used the cream one from Huda. And then like two to three hours into wearing the foundation, I looked dry. Like my forehead looked okay, but like around my mouth area, it looked more dry than the Urban Decay foundation that has a matte finish that I tried the other day. I think when I filmed the clip with Christian, it was like five hours or so into wearing this foundation and it still looked like a very matte foundation. It had settled into like the lines that I have right here next to my mouth and, I just, and it just kind of looked dry around my mouth area. But when I left work today, which was nine hours into wearing the foundation i realized that it had gotten glowy i'm going to go ahead and show you a selfie i took when i was leaving work this was around 7 15 and it was in natural lighting and my skin looks so good in these pictures this was with the front camera of my iphone and it still looks that glowy and dewy i'm about to show you a close-up i'm over here thinking i'm acting crazy because even what i had seen settle in my lines kind of went away like the foundation kind of got glowy, like my skin made it a lot more glowy again. And the settling went away. You can still see a little bit of texture around my mouth for sure. But like, I swear to you, it had settled. And now it's like, you could barely see it. My forehead looks dewy, my cheeks look dewy, everything else looks dewy. Let me go ahead and show you. Look at how shiny it looks. And like, this is okay, I like this. I like looking shiny, I don't mind it at all. Besides the pimple that we've gained, you can see a little bit of like texture around my mouth. But this kind of texture, I don't mind. So let me tell you guys kind of my final thoughts on this whole thing. I think I like the foundation. I have nothing against it. Now, because it got so dry for most of my wear today, I don't think it's like one of my new favorites or anything like that. I would say I give it like a 7 out of 10. Me being dry if a foundation is going to like look kind of dry and semi matte for most of the day and then towards the end of the day get luminous and dewy i would honestly rather it be luminous and dewy through like the whole day i feel like this happened like six to seven hours into me wearing the foundation maybe even later than that and for most of the day i did look more on the dry side and since it claims to be a luminous foundation i was just not expecting that so it is a seven out of ten for me it's not bad, I like it, it's just not my new favorite foundation. And right now that's just kind of 
how I'm feeling. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, especially those of you who've been watching the rest of my foundation videos. Which one do have you liked the best so far? Which one do you think looked the most dry, gave me the most texture? I wish I would have been home when the foundation was looking dry. Unfortunately, I wasn't, so I couldn't show you that. But you can still see that it has a little bit of texture around my mouth, even though now it's like super nice and glowy. I'm like, I don't know where this came from because I looked really dry for most of the day. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so with that said, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to my channel. Don't leave without subscribing. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.